everyone, Jason Schaffer here of M0A.com and shooting a quick video uh, at the house today, which is a polite way of saying or apologizing ahead of time for any uh, noise or animals or anything like that. Anyways, uh, the video I have for you guys today is this. Is it AGL or is it MSL? Above ground level or mean sea level? This question comes from two online ground school members. Uh, Charlie being the first one, and David being the other one, who have asked me this question numerous times. Hey, is this in MSL or is this in AGL? What are they talking about here? And I want to break down what weather, what information you're going to find, uh, and is it going to be an AGL or MSL? So I've got my list here. Let's just go through real quick. Talking AGL, and by the way, uh, below this video is all this again if you're curious. ATIS, AWOS, ASOS. Obviously, METARs and TAFs as well are going to be your AGL altitudes. Now, that makes sense. Now, listen to this. Your area forecast, winds aloft, and PIREPs are going to be an MSL. The confusing one there is the area forecast, but you've got to think an area forecast covers a broad area. It would be hard to do AGL for all that various terrain, where it's easy to do AGL for a local METAR. Whereas the area forecast, because it's so big, they just give you everything in MSL unless in that area forecast it's otherwise designated by saying AGL or CIG will mean it's also in AGL. So there you go. Again, that's all underneath this video if you're curious. Any questions, leave me a comment below this video on M0A.com. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And most importantly, guys, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.